You are listening to GHP Radio, powered by iTrackRadio.com, your independent music source. Fresh, new music, right here on the all-new GHP Radio, your new independent music source.
corner, no apologies and no hesitation to my destination. We said my life, hey, it's my time. I've forgiven you for my heartache. No more sad songs, I can see.
get you mesmerized Take you back to the water Where we watch the ocean rise When you whisper those sweet nothings Make me feel like something If only we went back in time For you I'll put your favorite dress on For you I'll even wear my hair long And even though I might be overdressed So long as you're impressed Guess what we are doing tonight oh, It's just like a, a day night A day night Baby, love me tonight Tonight It's just
someday we'd find a way And here we are, all alone No need for words, our hearts are speaking loud and clear And I will give you what you want Thank mm-hmm. you. 
It's too shy. J. Lamont coming at you with a class. Yeah, y'all gonna feel this. Uh. Every time I think of you, I'm so amazed for all the things that you have done for me. So glad that I found you for all my needs. Now let's make this moment we can truly see. Like a spade, but slam it just like a game of bones. Love's a lethal weapon, and I'm aiming for your heart, body, mind, and soul, baby. Tell me what's the deepest part. What should I start, girl? You solid as a rock. Waterfall love, pray the current never stop. Cook good, eat good, curvy as can be. You my better half, baby. God cooked you up for me. Right. Too shady, greatest, better yet, the legendary. Huh? Straight out the pavement, rose from the concrete. Ma, know you beautiful. Clean out to your cuticle. Yeah. Elevated mind nowadays, that's unusual. Hold me down through the worst. I'm giving you the best. You an asset, baby. Y'all love nothing like Again, do you know if this world were mine? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If this world were mine, I would play such a beat. All that I own, you've been so good to me. If this world were mine. I'd give you the flowers, the birds and the bees, and it'd be your love beside me. That would be all I need if this world were mine. I'd give you anything. Well, we're 
would place at your feet with words untold. Okay. You can have anything Come on. if this world were mine. I give you each day so sunny and blue. And if you have a son, I will give you that too. If this were, were mine, don't be there. I give you anything. Oh, baby, you're my inspiration. And there's no hesitation when you want me, honey, just call me. Oh, baby, I'll be your consolation, on, and there'll be no hesitation when I'm in your you arms. <laughs> when you believe me, oh, the way that you do. The way that oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, oh yeah, the way that you do the way that you love me. Oh, oh, oh. every sky would be blue as long oh, as you are you loving me, me. baby. Oh, 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 give me pretty loving, baby. Give, give me pretty loving, darling. Keep on loving me, baby. Oh, 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 you know I need you, honey. You know I need you, baby. Keep on loving me. Loving me the way, the way you do, you do. my love. The way, the way, the way you love me, boy, you love me. Oh, you love me. I don't wanna I let you go. I don't wanna let you go. Know, no, 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 my love. No, my baby. Oh. Oh, the way that you, the way oh, that you, you know. The world would be yours. Yeah. 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 Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Donnell, yes. Ladies and you gentlemen. Your number, I'm sorry, I just gotta get that number. Thank you. Excuse me, holding up the line. Yes, we did. Excuse me, holding up the and he was singing it. I was singing it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we just added this. You know, she was singing. I said, did you know if this world was done? She said, yeah, I do. Then that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to send me that. I absolutely will. All right. That is. Yeah, y'all were fantastic. Real music. Back in the day. Yes. You know, <laughs>we shared the story of two strangers who did an impromptu duet in the aisle of a superstore. Another shopper captured the moment, of course, on video, and it went viral. Mm. Take a look. Oh, no, 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 the way that you, the way oh, that you, you know the world would, would be Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie Live Spot. I hope you all are doing all right this this weekend on this hot weekend. Of course, it's been hot a little while, but uh, 
But welcome to the show. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, you just got through hearing our music guest. Uh, uh, there was that was the the viral video you just got through seeing uh, when uh, uh, Mr. Donnell Cross and was it Cassandra? What was her last name? Nelson. Nelson. Yeah, when they both was doing their thing in the in the Walmart store there, and uh, man, and I was I was watching a little bit of the comments in the uh, uh, chat while that was going on. Everybody was giving it, giving you props, man. Uh, but welcome to the show, Darnell. Golly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man, that was awesome. <laughs> and, you know, and I remember when when that happened. Um, because I remember catching that, and I was just amazed. I mean, yeah, it was just, I was just like, wow, that's amazing. And then on the top of that, you both didn't even, really didn't even know each other, did you? <laughs> hey guys hey guys i want to hey let's let's take a little short break and go back into the music because i think the audio level of you guys are is kind of low for some reason i don't know what's getting i need to i need to fix that so i'm gonna put some more music on and then we'll come back after i get it fixed okay so everybody everybody just hang tight uh out there listening uh i think i, I actually caught that through the uh chat and then of course i was looking at my meters and it and i can definitely tell something something ain't right so we'll be right back everybody keep it locked right here
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Okay, I think we got our problem fixed, so y'all, everybody out there should be able to hear us really good now. Uh, sorry about that. But anyway, let me just start this all over. Welcome, welcome Darnell Cross. And uh, yeah, it's good to have you on the show today, brother. And uh, of course, like I said before, when we were just getting started, uh, it was really awesome uh, when you guys, uh, you and uh, Cassandra was jamming in that in that aisle <laughs> I mean, it just had everybody just amazed and and everything and like i said i think i remember when that first came out i, when I saw it like i said it, it mm-hmm. i was stunned too i was like man it's, they really putting it in right there <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow wow thank you thank, yeah. you. Um, thank you so much i have a question did anybody ever accuse you of uh 
Go ahead. You already know how you're ready. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, uh, of this being a setup. Because it was just perfect. Uh, you guys nailed it so perfectly. It's, it's odd that you said, that you asked me that question because there was a young gentleman that, well, older gentleman, whoever, but they was like, oh, man, that was, that was set up and the whole nine yards. And, I, and like I said, you can believe what you want to believe. I know the truth. God knows the truth. And as long as he knows, I'm not really worried about it. Um, right. I did not know that woman. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, but, I, but I, I must say this on Real Talk. I am truly glad I met met her. She's a beautiful, beautiful person. Yeah. You can tell she's a beautiful soul just by the way she responded to you. Because she could have had an attitude. or, But, I mean, it just flowed. And because right. of that experience... Uh, you know how two people can be in a tragic situation and have to pull together and they bond a special right. friendship? I'm sure that that caused special friendship because not only have you guys gone viral, then you guys appear on a talk show and tell us about that. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Um, we would. I mean, on Real Talk, what happened is I'm, I'm at my job. A friend of mine is calling me from from Atlanta and he's like, he said, man, you sitting down. I'm like, no, I'm at work. You know, he was like, no, you need to be sitting down. I said, man, you know what I do. I can't sit down. Come on now. What's going on? <laughs> he said, man, sit down. I got something to tell you. I was like, man, just tell me. He was like, you're going viral. Thought about it. I sat it's down. So, <laughs> <laughs> you said, so, uh, so I sat down and he said, did you sing with a young lady at Walmart? Anyway, I said, yeah, he was like, he said, man, you got millions of people that are talking wow. of, to wow. you. And I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. But it, it, what, what really bugged me out when I actually looked at it, it was Avril Lavigne, uh, Cedric the Entertainer. I mean, just a bunch of stars hitting up. And I was like, wow. oh, oh, my mind. Huh? Wow, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that part. Yeah, it blew my mind. So when good morning america because there was different people we was on hln and all types of good stuff when good morning america hit me up i was like oh shoot they was like come on you know come on. I, walmart also hit but i don't know what happened it is what it is you know uh, with all the shootings and stuff going in um, with them you know i mean this was a, 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 a breath of sunshine for them they say but anyway but uh yeah people thought that it was just bull crap and I promise to God it wasn't you know mm, I don't know if they heard earlier uh, Gary asked you a question about it and uh, you responded how you guys met I know the audio was low Gary you think he should try, uh, explain again yeah yeah please okay oh I'm, it, I was um <laughs> Y'all gonna keep making me say I was drunk. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it. I was gonna bring it up, but I didn't have to do it. You done it. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going through a, a little low point in my life. I was just going through something as a breakup and all that. And my friend Craig was like, "Yo, he's a chef. He owns his own business and stuff like that." He was like, man, let me fix something for you. My favorite meal uh, is salmon with asparagus and sweet potato. And he was like, come on, let's go up in here. And, you know, you know how uh, Craig do it, you know? And uh -huh. so he was like, come on, let's go to Walmart. And we went to Walmart. We walk in through the aisle and she got her headphones on and she's singing the little low. So that's when I walked up to her and I said, do you know if this world were mine? Because I did say, so. before I said that, I told him, I'm going to mess with this woman. I didn't say mess. It was there if you, uh, somebody else were. <laughs> I said, you know, with this woman. He said, man, leave that lady alone. I was like, no, I'm going over there. And I went over there, and the rest is history. We, we did our thing. And I ended up moving to New Orleans two weeks after that. And mm -hmm. I stayed in New Orleans, and that's where everybody was like hitting me up and giving me the uh, the rundown of what was going on. God ain't finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, my, I saw the video, and I was very, you know, whatever, you know, like, wow, that's phenomenal as everybody else. So, just a periodic call from Craig, myself to him or him to me, I can't remember. 
but we were talking or whatever. And um, he said, oh, I got something to tell you. you have to and I'm like, yeah, da, da, da. And so he tells me about, he's the one that recorded the Walmart Singers. Uh, yeah. He said, I need it. I said, I need it. You know, so. <laughs> exciting and um so when i did get the pleasure to talk to donnell and cassandra i was done i was i was done the, the personalities um you know the effervescence when you know individually or together in a room or this kind of a platform mm-hmm. it's undeniable you know that they're just purely just good people yeah yeah you know just it's really good people yeah so it was it was um uh, 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 fun to meet them and, and you know I can say at this point you know Donnell and I uh, more so have you know uh, developed a friendship so after all this he moved to Dallas I'm like come on man come on man come on man you know so so it's been a pleasure to um, know him as a person and when I moved to Dallas I didn't remember that Jill lived in Dallas. I, 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 it wasn't. It was. I, I, you know how God does things. My my job, uh, my old job in New Orleans, asked me to come here. Mm. You know because they know what I do. You know, mm-hmm. so they was like, "Can you take you know and do Dallas?" I was like, "I want to get away from uh, New Orleans, so let me just go ahead to Dallas." Mm-hmm. And I'm glad I, I I'm glad I've come. Yeah, and you know we talked about this off the air. Uh, that when you're out in public, people recognize you and call you what? The Walmart singer? The Walmart singer. The Walmart man. <laughs> the Walmart man. And, and you know, I, and I know some Jam and Jay Lamont, who's known as a comedian and he's fantastic and he's been on the show. He's trying to be known as a singer. So, but at the same time, Every independent artist, every up and coming artist is looking for a Walmart situation, whether it's like we said off the air, Walmart, Target or whatever. So but what I love about it that you've got international acclaim without a record label. Now, if that comes later, fine, but you were able to use a tool. And uh, that didn't require, how much money did you spend doing this? It, <laughs> you know what I mean? There was no special setup and, you know, makeup, lights, camera, and the whole thing. You found a simple tool and it got you millions and millions of, of views. And as a matter of fact, I would follow up with Walmart because I think Walmart does things where they need entertainment. And what better for them is to have you and Cassandra come and, and, and do a show. So uh, I, I just I just think that I, I just applaud you is what I'm trying to say. Applaud you. Uh, I you know I think it's a beautiful thing because as an independent artist, and 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 we have several in the chat, several listening outside the chat, and that, that we're looking for something. So it, it it encourages us, or it should encourage us when we see what you and Cassandra. Uh, did. And you guys didn't even know each other. That's that's just wow. amazing. You didn't know each other, but somehow you were able to pull together. And I, I, I believe that that's what we should all do. And no one will need a record label. Because I'm thinking if um, if many of the uh, label artists that used to be label artists, they're independent now. Yeah, that, they're, they're going that route. And the thing about it is, this was unintentional. It wasn't something that we said, oh, we're going to sit here and throw that in we, we both were blindsided when it came down to you know the and it's hard for me to say because fans is not something that come to my mind the people that that admired what we did um mm-hmm. it's it's different for us you know uh she her father her father sang in church my father sang with you know different groups we are the drifters as one of them um my mother's done things my grandmother's done things my sister sang with hezekiah walker you know it's just diff- different <laughs> things that you know has been tried and i i had given up on singing honest just to be truthfully honest with you because i didn't feel that like i could do it the way that i did it when i was young Mm-hmm. So I had given up, you know, I've tried it, I've been to California, I've been to different places, people promising me, you know, this deal, that deal, and most, a lot of people have 
one of them was for me to have to pass their casting couch to get there. Right. And I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go to bed with you just to make it in this business. Mm -hmm. That's just, it's just not going to happen. But well, I knew one thing. I signed, I signed uh, for a contract back in the '80s, and they told me, you know, they didn't want to take care of me. So I told them I'm not doing it. They told them I, it was a five-year contract. They told me that if I went out and sang anywhere that they would sue me. Mm -hmm. But I knew if I went out there to sing for, you know, and making money that they could sue me. But you couldn't sue me if I was singing for free. So I did it for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the train station. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, Donnell, so, <clears throat> all this fame that you, you know, with uh, Michael Strahan and, 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 and Roland Martin, you know, what are y'all's plans to do with this, you know, with this here? Well, at the time, you know, you know, once everything was kicking off, the pandemic came through, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Which, which kind of slowed, slowed stuff down uh, for the both of us. Yeah. Uh, we, we got a call to come to, what was Sacramento uh, to do a show um it was uh kendrick not kendrick what's his name uh j j j j holiday um kendrick the family soul uh c c bunch of other people but tamar was the main attractor mm -hmm. we went out to we, i mean as we going out there every plane was being delayed or canceled and it was just you know god you know we going out there because in our minds it was about Tamar. So we're going out to open up for Tamar. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Anyway, mm -hmm. we went to uh, we went from to Atlanta Airport at at nine in the morning. We didn't get out out of Atlanta till nine at night. We ended up flying to Las Vegas, and they had a six hour layover, but we was okay about that. We were supposed to fly into uh, San Francisco and then from there to, because it's heck going to the airport with a crap. Right. All that, when we got, to, we sat there for about five hours at, in Las Vegas, then they hit us up saying that the flight was canceled. Mm. We were sitting up there, Cassandra started crying. She was upset. Yeah. And she told me, she said, well, maybe we can go to the direct flight. I said, why? Why are we going to the direct flight? You know, hell, they can't get us out of here. Right. So she's like, come on, baby, come on, let's go, let's go. So we went to the direct flight, and the girl, I, I wish I knew her name because I would shout her name out. I, uh, Cassandra was like, we are the Walmart thing. <laughs> 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 and we opened it up for, I mean, for a Tamar practice, and we need a flight to go out. The girl was like, I remember y'all. She said, hold on, let me call my supervisor. So she called the supervisor, and the supervisor was like, really? They standing right there? She was like, yeah. yeah. She was like, she said, well, tell, you know, tell them to hold on. Don't go nowhere. She said, if somebody comes to that flight late, put them on that flight. <laughs> 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 and we made it to Sacramento, <laughs> and I thought it was the most beautiful thing. God, God is good because, and then when we walked out, I, when we walked out, People stood up and gave us applause and everything. They wow. knew who we were. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, Isn't that something? Wow. I love that's it. That's star, that's star privilege the right there. That's <laughs> right. You know that's the truth. Yes. So I, 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 God, God has has <clears throat> one thing. I, I, I you know, and I'm not trying to make this, uh, but I got to tell my story. God right. has God has promised me some things. That's why people be like, man, you travel from here to here. You, you, it don't take you no second to move. I know God got me no matter where I'm at. Because right. he promised it to me. And I believe it. So there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so, so, didn't you guys sing at the Apollo too? I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joyce. Yeah, we did. Uh -huh. We did it at the Apollo with um with uh, Common. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, I mean, for, for me, just to be real, it was a beautiful thing, but I was disappointed simply because of 
we didn't get the chance to practice because we I kept telling Cassandra she said she wanted to do a different song which is cool I wanted to do a different song too mm-hmm. but we didn't get the chance to practice it every time we sat back and and, and was waiting for them to break, call us down to do the uh sound check yeah it, it just we, we just never had the chance to do it mm-hmm. so we had to wing it Ooh. and and i i was like i by this point i was like mm. you know so it didn't it did not come off the way that i expected it but i had did the apollo before and i've won several times so it wasn't no real big deal i know the deal with the apollo you know my father did the apollo <coughs> you know my family has done the apollo so the apollo to me i think it's a beautiful concept and if i may be real with it i don't want to be i don't want to be crash but to be real with it how many people now come out of the apollo you know what i'm saying to me right. you right. know back in the 80s right. you know you had right. boys to men and all that stuff how many people came out of it so to me the way that i viewed it myself it was like it was just for show mm-hmm. you know yeah 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 so i mean but it it, it was the apollo mm-hmm. now let me ask you this are you a Cassandra? are y'all thinking about doing a project yourselves or what Yeah, uh, <coughs> yes, we we want to. Um, financially, it's not stable. You know what I'm saying? For for neither one of us to go into the studio and do whatever we want to do. Um, at, 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 on on, if I can be real, 100. I had given up. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. You know, but but it follows me no matter where I go. Mm-hmm. It it follows that the the, the, the the they want to hear me sing no matter where I go even if it's just happy birthday you know you know mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it, they want to hear me sing something so I, that's what I do but mm-hmm. we do want to do we we do want to go into this uh, Craig Craig even came out with a song we were doing and he spent like four or five hundred dollars that night just uh, sitting up in the studio and maybe it'll come out maybe it won't I don't know mm-hmm. you know. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, although you're here in in uh, in Dallas and she's still in Georgia, you know, mm-hmm. y'all can all put together because a lot of musicians, George know a lot of people that help y'all, you know, go back and forth and put something together. Right. right. I think it'd be a great time. Actually, actually, I really, I had a, I had an epiphany moment. One thing it's in my head is going to happen out here in the regular world, but I already see George and Donnell doing the project. I'm sorry, hands down. I'm sorry. That's what you're talking about. Hey, you you called me like a month ago, over a month ago. I think I'm in Tulsa when you called. Yeah. By the way, Donnell, you said happy birthday. I'm having a a birthday bash at House of Blues on my birthday. And, um, I was wondering if it was going to sing happy birthday to me. I'm just saying. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. You already know. You already know. I do. I do. I'm doing it. Right right. That goes without saying. Yeah, it's uh, it's just uh, in, in conjunction with Trinity River Blues Society and House of Blues, it's no cover. Of course, they don't have a menu if you want to buy drinks and food, but it's no cover. I'm just celebrating my birthday. And uh, right. they're sponsoring it. So that's when, when, when is it? It's on the 21st, Thursday next week. Is it that, what, this coming week? Yeah. Wait a minute. This is coming, yeah, next week. I got you. you no, but seriously, you. you saw my, my uh, thing that I said yes, right? Or invite that thingy on Facebook. No, yeah. we're talk. I, I clicked it. I, I clicked it. <laughs> I click comment and I put it in my in my calendar. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know that way you get to meet some more musicians. Uh, the, the bass player is one of the uh, ba- best player bass players in Dallas. And the musicians I have that are playing with me, all I do is send them the playlist and say, "Show up." <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm with it. Lucretia, oh, um, that is the Lucretia. Her uh, husband coming. I forgot his name. Lucretia, her husband, you're the one that makes the cakes. Remember that time we had those cakes? 
way back, but never mind. We'll talk about it on the back end. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because even if you a maker and well, it's amazing in heaven. So either which way. But then okay. I'm at to see what Kim is going to do. What she got planned. Because Kim and my sister and Joyce's birthday is all on the same day, same month. Your sister, you by Kim. Oh yeah. Yeah, my big sister. Yeah, I didn't know about. Oh, uh, but Ray Mac, just so you can feel okay, this is in the foundation room. It only holds about two hundred people, maybe a little bit more. It's not that big, big room where they give the big concerts where they make you stand for hours. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna come and stand up. <laughs> stand up, stand up with that big old chicken wing you had last time. <laughs> this whole, this whole myself and Jill a table, and we'll be there. Thank I'll, you, thank you. That's all I'm saying. All you got is the reserve. Okay, how many people am I? I'm gonna try. Uh, you know, how many people you and. What, what lady are you bringing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, which which one? I'm I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I ain't bringing, I ain't bringing that one. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Oh. I, might I, hope, I, look, I hope that one ain't listening. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh, man. Remember, we can't edit this a mess. <laughs> I know y'all can't. I know you can't. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, I would be, I would honestly, I would be honored to sing for you. Well, that would be nice. Vacation. And I could introduce yeah. some people there. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's just, uh, and I was so happy when. Angela, the president of TRBS, called me. I said, you know, that would be perfect because I could sell it, have a birthday bash. I don't have right. to pay, I don't have to rent the place. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I mean, I'm performing, but I'm still going to have a good time. So, and I and I got um, some outstanding musicians to, to back me up, and they said they're game. And we're just going to, just four of us, a quartet, and would love to have you. Um, I was like, who's going to sing happy birthday to me? Because one of my sorrows, hers is on the 20th, Brenda, and she's coming. So yeah. we may just, you know, put it out there. And in exchange, when you have a project, uh, I can lay some saxophone and some food uh, for you. So you, you, you know, um, <laughs> you know, love has truly mm -hmm. been good to me. Yeah. You can play that. You can play that and we'll try to do something with it. I'll, 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 I'll try to keep I don't know if the band knows it. Let me, let me see what we can work out. Okay. Let me work it out the back end. I have a question. So, um, I know that we could almost presume that Roland Martin is the reason you kind of went super viral. That's what it went to hyper. You know, motion as far as yeah, you know, what, what, uh, the album was picking you up out of his verbal endorsement. Yeah, um, Roland is is, is uh, the she reading some chat stuff. Hold on, what, what she reading, yeah. Joyce? I gotta get that. Hold on, hold on, Donnell. She reading the chat. Here it makes it say Ray bringing the old girl, as he said. <laughs> 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 old gal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, sorry. Go uh, ahead. Roland, Roland. Yeah, he 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 made it immediate. He kept calling different people to put us out there. Mm. Um, mm. We were we were talking to uh, Steve McKeever at Hidden Beach, and you know, like I said, with the pandemic, it was so many things going on that you know you had to just come but we had interviews with him um gerald levert's uh richard thomas his, uh, gerald levert's manager richard thomas has hit up several times hell I, I i got hit by um otis williams a couple of times to become a temptation yeah and i, I wanted to but at my age, I'm not doing no doom, doom, doom. 
<laughs> I'm not. I can't do it no more. I can't. I gotta sit down. I like to do no answer. Look, look, look. I want to do the way. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, old Blue Eyes. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Give me, a, give me a piano. Put some water on the side. Let me sit my old behind that. Not in the <laughs> Man, I believe you. I, I really believe you still got you still got the 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 motion, the movements, and all of that. You still got it. Yeah, I you too. I still got it. It's mm-hmm. in my mind, but I still got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I can say, it's I can time, but you know, it, it can be worked out. No, let me do this here for you, baby. Did you look at the video and how my beard was black and short? Uh-huh. <laughs> No, it's all in gray. <laughs> I'm getting old. Um, uh, Donnell, that's no excuse. Because there's, there's dye for that. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I mean, sometimes you got to dye it out. Mm. I did, I, when I did the Apollo, I did it because my beard was actually gray. But I, I didn't want to. And I put in a uh, Beijing. Beijing. Uh, you know, yeah, I put that Beijing in, and I was like, uh, "Where my gray? Babe? I want my gray. I love. I like my gray. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like my gray. Now, if you giving me a couple of million dollars, I'll cut this off and cut it in the hell with the gray." <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look at that. Yeah, I know. I Beijing this because I've been gray a long time, and uh, I Beijing this the first time. Boy, it looks so good. I said, "Damn, I'm gonna try it the second time." Shit, it looked like I had a false face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. Sometimes yeah. you just gotta leave it to let God do what He's doing. Yeah, you know what I'm see, yeah. ain't nothing wrong with gray. I like gray. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong. Now, in my head, it's just sprinkled around in there. Well, at least you got, at least you got a head full of hair. <laughs> yeah. <That's right. laughs> uh, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a little light up in here, you know. <laughs> under the you know what I'm saying? But you, but you know something? <laughs> them gals, them gals like the bald head men now. <laughs> Oh, like, I mean, I, they do, but I, I, I like a little bit of some up there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Some up there, I see. Yeah, so I, I have my barber cut it down just enough. To, but see, it, it's not it's not that I'm going bald. I can't see because the gray is here. So when I'm when I'm looking, I feel like I look like to me I'm going bald, but it's the gray. It's the gray. <laughs> it's but they like they like that hair kind of. They like it the way it is, like you like you got it, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, as long as long as long as I'm doing my job, they like it. Yeah. You know and yeah. the thing is, they say, "Ooh, I like a man with gray, and he looks so distinguished." Well, shit, I put it right on up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I get I get the twenty year olds and the twenty twos and the twenty fives, and I'm like. Your great grandfather, what the hell you want? <laughs> <laughs> you have to wonder about that. It's like, you know, I, I was walking around uh, the balcony club, and this guy must have been in his like maybe mid 20s. Mm-hmm. And, and he stopped me as I was walking up. Oh, you got some beautiful eyes. I said, Bud, what are you doing? And he said, Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, and I but I came so fast, it's like, uh-uh, no, man, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 so I'm sitting back off to the sidelines and be like, am I still got it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, I'm sorry, but that was scary to me. Somebody yeah. in their 20s. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, I, I don't, I don't have to get my groove back because I never lost it. So <laughs> your, name, your, your name ain't Stella. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I have. Hey, now, y'all were talking about my wife. That's her name, Stella. <laughs> I got. Uh, don't knock it till you try. Try that one. Oh, cougar. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 I'm a grown big woman. I ain't changing no diapers. 
<laughs> and damn sure ain't taking care of no soul. No, you, know, you gonna work like you gonna work like I do. No, <laughs> I'm not sure, Mama. Just to be clear. But anyway, <laughs> let's uh, Donnell, tell us about your days back in New York coming up. You know, uh, your uh, you know, what were your first uh, experiences? I know you said the Apollo, but I mean, I know a little bit about your little uh, transit time you know sitting down there with the trains and stuff you know one of those oh, wonderful people that I love to throw money at when yeah. I go to New York give me one second baby one second can y'all give me one second oh yeah oh yeah I gotta get something oh. one second one second one second we'll one, second. one, one thousand one yeah one one thousand two one thousand. <laughs> 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 uh, the log is gone what do you guys think about that portrait painting behind him I mean, that was quite uh, interesting. He yeah. wanted to think about that on the break. I said, well, you gotta you know, the, it, that when, he, when his head was covering the mouth, it looked like something evil. I'm like, what is that? Then when he moved, I went, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that, like a horn in the front of the mouth. The horn. The he truck. would have to tell us the story about that one. Mm -hmm. about those pieces definitely yeah well I, I i can tell you the story about those pieces those pieces are from a gentleman a friend of mine in new orleans mm. um, he he he's an artist and he's a great artist he's a great person yeah. and i this, see this, this, it's it's he moved us. this is uh the monkey collection that he's done Oh, nice. Yeah, and uh, he, this one here is, I got one. He's making one for me to put up the way that I have here. So, you know, I mean, he's a gentleman that paints his behind off, and he's the truth. Um, this is my baby right here. Oh, my gosh. How cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good eating, curry to be specific. Yeah, look, look, Jill be talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cook that. I was a girl. You better get away from my bed. Oh, is that Trinidad? And all I see is curry guana. That's all I see. <laughs> you, know, you go, you go, you go see two black eyes. You <laughs> the thing about it is, you asked me the question about New York. New York. Uh, I, I want to first off say New York did me right. Mm -hmm. uh, New York, I, 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 born in, uh, in 1964, you know, January 29th, 1964, New York. New York treated me with the utmost respect. I, I hung out with older people. So the people that I grew up with, you know, uh, they taught me to be a gentleman. They taught me to be respectful. My grandmother gave me every tool that I needed. My mama was around. Yes, she was. And I love my mama. My mama, I was my mama's baby. After she had several children, I was the one she just was in love with. But hey, my, my, my <laughs> way, I don't want to. <laughs> the thing about, it, thing about it was is that thing. I remember my cousin Bobby was singing. We was in the train station and we were singing and he was hitting notes in the whole nine yards. And this lady came up to me and she said, good God, who is that? I said, that's my cousin Bobby. She said, oh, he sounds so beautiful. I said, well, thank you. Right. She said, um, hold on, let me clear this phone up. I'm, and and uh, anyway. You, call, you know how they call you all at the wrong time. <laughs> you know, you know, so. Yeah, but uh, I want to make sure I can get back in here. There we go. Um, so she says to me, she said, um, who is that? I said, that's my cousin Bobby. She said, Lord God, don't you wish you could sing like that? <laughs> Bobby, Bobby heard that. Bobby said he felt like the color purple that he pulled the piano down. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby stopped. Bobby stopped singing. He put the piano down and was like, oh, gotta go. 
by the time I finish wearing that lady behind out in that train station, and I don't want to sound, you know, like I'm all that, but by the time I got through singing, that lady was sitting there with her mouth gaped open and was like, oh my God, your family is so talented. Mm-hmm. And I, I appreciate it. Um, the Apollo, like I said, was a beautiful experience at a time. Um, the thing I got tied up, they wouldn't let your, when you pick a song, here and now is what I was winning by, but when they pick a song, you have to sing this song over and over and over again. And it's they don't give, they don't give you the chance to show your flexibility, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I'm not to put the follow down. I think it's a beautiful concept, but it's just it's just my thoughts, my my belief, and what it is. But New York was wonderful to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. I love New York. Yeah. So I, I love have New a question. York. Hmm? Oh, I have a question. Uh, not trying to be floor manager by any means, but how are we looking on time? Because I think that maybe your audience would love to get a little, uh, a, a little tasty taste of uh, your talent, Mr. Uh, Cross. I just gave my talent. Yeah, you better sign something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, give us a little something, something. Something, something, something. Little something, 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 something like what? You can sing that the Apollo. Let's hear that. You know it well. <laughs> Which one? Whatever you're singing the Apollo over and over, go ahead and hit us with that because you know it well. <laughs> well I, 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 you know, to be truthfully honest with you, I can't even stand that song anymore. I tried to say. I said you probably can't stand it no more, but go ahead. Yeah. Let's go. Let me you tight mm. Mm. if only for one night yeah. let me keep you near is a way of being it would be so nice if only for one night your eyes say things I never my knees are shaking too, but I'm willing, willing to go through. I must be standing in this place while I'm feeling no disgrace. Mm. Asking, let me take you home. Mm-hmm. To keep you safe and warm Like a baby to the early dawn Warms up to the sun It would be so nice If only for Night you had girls pulling their panties off and the ice cream. <laughs> I'm a, I used to, I usually tell. I don't know if y'all remember uh, Richard Pryor. Yes. Richard Pryor said, I ain't going to say it the way he said it, but uh, he said, you can be the ugliest papa in the world, but if you can sing, you can get you some tail. (laughs) (laughs) And I cleaned it up. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, but I I see a lot of, uh, I think a lot of opportunities will come out of uh, Dallas to add to your experiences, and I'm happy to be you know, here and part of the process, and I'm very anxious. Um, uh, I know there's a little group, uh, Davion, and uh, I come on here and I already start shopping people. But Davion, Sydney, all them, they, they have a, a, a Dream Girls. They're doing that in a, it's at the Bass Hall or whatever, Dream Girls, that's coming up. Uh, phenomenal young artists. 
Um, but that uh, theater circle is also one of the places that, you know, I want them to be able to be blessed by your presence. So I'm anxious about that. And that Dream Girl cast that just dawned on me, you guys, GHP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get a little uh, uh, a snippet of what's going on with them. They are, they sound great. Awesome. They sound absolutely great. Oh, yeah. So, um, but anyway, Gary, uh, I want to thank you so much for featuring uh, Donnell today. <laughs> the opportunity you. to meet him. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to have the opportunity to meet you guys. And um, welcome to the fold because I'm sure uh, Gary, Mac, and uh, Joyce will look out for you moving forward. Thank okay. you. Thank Gary, you. are you are you what, reading the chat? Oh, no. Okay, so the music in the background is too loud. Is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got family in the chat. They take care of us. I, I'm telling you, they, they're that's a little. A beautiful, that's a beautiful thing. That's yeah. a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm sorry, Jill. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, so Mac, um, we, me and Mac was talking earlier today. He was talking about going to Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking so. But see, when I was talking to Jill earlier this morning, she said, she said, Mac. Well, I got so tore up last night and I think I had to go to work. See, <laughs> Jim, you're going to learn not to tell Mac your personal business. <laughs> you don't know. I already told you I was going to say it. Wow. Oh, yeah. so, no, really, I went out yesterday uh, for my job. You know, I deal with uh, elderly people or whatever, and someone passed away. So, I had to pick between a birthday party or go into this wake, right? Birthday party wake. I said, that's all right. I'm super chill. I'm going to go to both. So I did the wake, paid, paid respects, then I headed out to the birthday party, started kicking back. As soon as they saw me, they jumped up and went to the bar. I felt like that implied I was an alcoholic, but I'm not going to really delve into that. So all I know is I ended up back on the table, killed two bottles of wines in no time flat. Came back home, had some, I, I hate to endorse it, but some effing vodka as an EF. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my menopausal state, so I'm sorry, audience. So I wake up hmm. and I'm in my birthday suit. So I said to my daughter, I said, What time is my birthday suit? Was your mother bad? She said, No, you were having hot flashes. I said, Oh, okay. So, <laughs> then, <laughs> She was having so a I, private summer. <laughs> and, I, and when I go to work, I always tell my daughters goodbye. So this morning I got up, fully dressed, badge on. Go tell my daughter goodbye. My daughter walks back into my room and says, by the way, mommy, do not like it's Saturday. I'm like, <laughs> the whole I mean, badge on. I couldn't play it all. Because my badge was on. I had a very, uh, yeah, switching night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Okay, Jill. All right. <laughs> no vodka. You know what's amazing, Donnell? How you, when you, did the, going back to the Walmart uh, video, how you did one of your best at your lowest moment, and you even admitted you had had a little bit to drink, and, uh, mm -hmm. and you still, at your lowest and dealing with stuff, maybe it's, it, it is the tough times that, you know, when you're pressing grapes, that's where wine comes from, you know, when you're being crushed, when you're being, you're being crushed and, and something sweet came out of it. I, I just keep going back to that because it just has so many things that you can learn yeah. from and pull from it. So many yeah. encouraging things that, that comes out of that. Mm. Yeah, you know? it, 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 it's a different, uh situation and if if you believe in yourself and believe in life like again like i said i had given up on singing i, I honestly have wow. you know had i had at the time and it just went from something miserable to just something great you know to, I, and did i had no idea that it was going to be yeah, yeah. but i'm glad it did i'm meeting you guys the thing is, that, you know, what happened with all this? You need to go ahead and start fulfilling that what you have, that talent. It doesn't make no difference how old you are. Amen to that. Fulfill it. You right. know, 
you know, that's what yeah. y'all, you and Cassandra need to do. Fulfill it. Yeah. Is it fulfill it? Fulfill it. Dream. Fulfill it. It's just odd that she has something tomorrow and I have something tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's two different things. And it's like at the that's same what? time. Mm-hmm. And it's just weird to me. It's like she's a Kendrick spirit for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I love her to life. She, she, David. You know, I love her to life. She's, she's just a wonderful young, young lady. Um, she, she is there for me when I need her. I'm there for her when she needs me. And everybody's like, "Why y'all didn't get married?" Because I don't want to be married. I'm no more. I want to be done. Yeah. I ain't trying to get married. So all y'all out there, I mean, I got, I had 7,000. I'm not telling you no lie. I had 7,000 proposals. And I'm like, I'm not trying to get married. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm maybe back when I, you know, when I catch up with, you know, with Max, I get up there and, you know, and, you know ain't got nothing to do. I ain't saying you ain't got nothing to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about me, man. You know, because you yeah. had a beautiful, you had a beautiful, you know, situation. I didn't get the chance to do that. So my whole thing is, is that you know, you know, from when I'm 77, you know, to, to 103, maybe I'm like, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I said, you know, I'm old. I'm 73, but I ain't passing the feeling though. I bet. There you go. What there did he just go. say? <laughs> run it, say run that by again. I know, right? <laughs> uh, hey, 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 I'm like a pretend I understood that. And maybe that stop that stop 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 <laughs> you know what? You know what? Saying, you know what number, number. That's true. Uh, I was born. I was born and raised in in, in New York. Mm-hmm. I spent. I, I I've been in the South just as much as I've been in the New York, and I love the South. My grandma and them was from the South, and I was born and raised by Southern women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, being here is more like. Being home now, yeah, to me. Mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. you know, in in the South, you know, even if it's if it's if it's uh, Atlanta, if it's out here towards um, Dallas, you know, New Orleans, all that, it, all that feels more comfortable to me because I could have I moved back to to Baltimore, excuse me, in 2012. I stayed there seven months and moved back to Atlanta. Mm. I felt more comfortable in Atlanta. I could have moved to New York, but I felt more comfortable in, in Atlanta. Right. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. know, if if I move to uh, Georgia, <laughs> Atlanta's the only place I want to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and it ain't the same. It was it, when I moved there. It was in 1994. It was mm-hmm. beautiful. I was 30 years old. You know, I was you know just going through Freak Nick and all that. It was just beautiful. Freak to me. Nick, yes. Yeah, it was beautiful <laughs> to me. It was different, but it, and it was strange, but it was still it was still beautiful, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I enjoyed myself. You could have an impromptu Freak Nick if there was anything going on in the traffic jam. Once they get to bumping that music, it was on the Love poppin'. It. It's Love over it. with. It's over yes. with. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad. I, what happened to Max? He, he got cut off? I'm the <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him on here. You I know. know. Yeah. He, um, he, he, dropped, he dropped bad. off. Yeah, he, he dropped off. Maybe he just dropped off, got a phone call. It, it's better than him answering the uh, phone. We're on the air and he answers the phone. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah I, so, I, I, so, so uh, Donnell, uh, I know we have back door. Well, back you know, we have back to a conversation. And there were some projects, um, you know, that, that, that were kind of out there and there are some places that you have performed in uh, during this past year. Would you like to recap any of that? What I like to be what baby, I'm sorry. To recap some of the events. Well, I know the one with Tamar, um, but I know that in Philly, 
you know, that there's a couple of events that you do there, or well, engagements rather. So, you know, tell us about oh, those experiences. Saying what Teddy Pendergrass is there? Oh, wow. It was, it, it was amazing to me. Mm. It was, yeah, yeah, I, I, it was amazing. And then at the end of the situation, for them to get up there and say, I'm the one that came close, the closest to what Teddy Pendergrass has mm. done. Mm. It was like, man, they, they, they was like, did Teddy come back here? Now, the thing, the difference is, I didn't think, for me, I didn't think I did that well, because I, I remember back in the day, but there was one song that they asked me to sing, and it, it was so easy for me back in the day, but it was, ah, I miss you, baby. Oh, I, and it was easier for me to do because it was smoother than it is today. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you should dress up in the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, he was so powerful, his mic went out. sing at a club in the, and, and I used to do Teddy stuff in the uh, Bronx and it was a it was a, a talent show and every time that I sang at this talent show I kept winning so there was one guy he was pissed off because he was like y'all nah -uh, y'all know this man y'all know this man so dude said um dude said I tell you what I'll do a Teddy Pendergrass song and and you can do uh, whatever you want to do, if you allow me to, I said, all right, do your thing, dog. Um, he got up there. I got my headphone went dead, but he got up there and he said, uh, he started singing a Teddy song. Uh oh, we can hear. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. yeah Okay. Yeah, he he did. He he told me he wanted to do a Teddy song against me, and but he was like, "Well, you, I do Teddy, you do something different." He did a Teddy song, and they was like, "All right." So the only song that could come up to my mind at the time was "A House Is Not a Home." So, oh, <laughs> yeah. So I did. Uh oh, I think his phone is ringing again. <laughs> I think so. But I mean, it's no, um, that's why I was so excited uh, when he had plans to move here, but it wasn't written in stone. But that's, anyway, go ahead, Teddy. Sorry, go ahead. I did, I did, I did the Luther Vandross thing and and he lost his money and I gained his money, you know what I'm saying, along with the money I had. And I mean, it, it would happen like that at talent shows. My sister would sing. You know, I would come in first place. She come in second place. And that time she came in first place, I came in second place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. I wish, I wish I can take it all back into time and know you guys. And we had this type of technology, baby. Yeah, it yeah. would have been a whole. <laughs> mm. Do you do any Al Green? What did, what did you think about Al the Green? Al Green, okay. <laughs> Love and our happiness. Oh! Love. Oh. Ah, I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you talk about it knowing like you ain't got it. You still got it. <laughs> what do you think about talent shows now, such as like America Got Talent? You know what? I think. With America Got Talent and The Voice and all that, I think it's beautiful. But I, the people 
us, us as people, we do not achieve what you're trying to achieve out of it. Who's coming out of it? Who's getting paid? Who's getting the money? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? America's Got Talent is a beautiful thing to showcase who you are and the whole nine yards. But to me, go out there and do your thing. I don't, competition singing is not what I'm after. I don't need to, to prove to you right. that I can sing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, it, it may be good for some of those people that think they can sing and go out there and do, and then you tell them, no, boo, you know, maybe the next time. You know, but. Just like American Idol is not the same as it was back in the day when, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because they, they don't want to hurt nobody's feelings and tell them that they, there was a girl that told me, she said, I want to sing with you. I said, okay, baby, let me hear what you sound like. She sounds like a cat in heat. <laughs> <laughs> and when I told her, I said, well, baby, you know, maybe some other time. Well, you don't sound that good anyway. I started to say Biatch. You know, I'm trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me to sing. You asked to sing with me. I didn't ask to sing with you. Right. But right. the thing about it is the difference is I don't just sing. I do play. I have several plays. I've done a movie with Rashad Ali. I've done different things. And it just, you know, back in the day when, the, when uh, American Idol just came out, I forget the young lady's name. She was in a play with us. And she, you know, they picked her and they went out there. But to me, I'm not going to put my all my straw and my eggs in a basket mm -hmm. on, on something as a talent show. Right. You know, something as, as, as you know, a, 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 a American Idol. Mm -hmm. I know that I didn't need that to get to where I am going to. Mm -hmm. And again, like I said, I had given up on it anyway. So, you know. Well, well, you said you gave up on it, but you know some It's a new day, baby. Yeah. Don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. But the, the, the difference is, is that you people will not let me give up. Especially <laughs> <laughs> Jill, Jill refuses to leave me alone. <laughs> look here. 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 This group that I promoted back in the early 80s, mm -hmm. they done uh, a couple of weeks ago, they had a, uh, they done a reunion at a Charlie Christian Jazz Festival, you know, and mm -hmm. they, it's like they never left, you know, really? never missed a beat, you know, <laughs> and I, you know, and, uh, we had a meeting just a matter of fact, the <laughs> night. now they're coming back together as a unit. Right. This is right. Over years ago. Wow. It's, that's the thing about being an artist. And even for myself, starting out, you know, where I don't feel I have accomplished nearly a quarter of the things all of you guys have accomplished. Um, you know, because unfortunately, you know, my family wasn't the most supportive. You know, when you that dreamer, the artist, not everybody understands, you know. So, um, but I'm saying that to say that even the level that I have hit, Whenever they, they, they came a part in my life, like Darnell, when I was like, you know, I'm done. I'm done with this stuff. You know, I've been to Atlanta, been through that circus, you know, uh, all that stuff. But, you know, we say that, but when we say that, part of us literally dies because when you are blessed, when you are touched, you know, uh, 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 with, with having the ability to, to share who you are through sound, you know, be it vocally or instrumental. Or, or whatever, a part of you dies. A part of you dies. So, you know, the smile on your face, Darnell, when we were talking about something a minute ago when you said a certain song, that smile, that is who you are. You are music. That's, That's who it. we all are here collectively. We are music some way, shape, or form. The you know, and, and, and we can never let it go. We can never let it go if we wanted to. We really the never keep it. The difference is, is for me, just for me, is that I don't just touch women singing. The mm -hmm. men hit me up too. Dudes was hitting me up saying, man, you made me cry. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't, you know, I couldn't ca you comprehend could that. You could grasp it. Yes, yes, but you know what God showed me that it's, it's about, it's about, like when you're in church, 
and 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 the Holy Ghost hits you in church, and there's a dude up on stage singing. It it's just what it is. It Daryl Coley, Daryl Coley was for me was a beast. He could sing the alphabet, and I'd be like, "That's all right." <laughs> the dude was up there. And, and but 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 re- what really hurt my spirit with him and several other people when they pass away, it's just mm-hmm. th- it was nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Natalie Cole, when Natalie Cole died, they made no fanfare. It was nothing. And Natalie Cole was one of the best artists, mm-hmm. artists that yeah. I had experienced. Yeah. You know, you know. That what that was, and when I didn't, when they didn't give me what, what's her name, Stephanie Mills. Stephanie Mills, mm-hmm. need, they need to give her more. She contributed to this. Philip Bailey. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Philip Bailey to me was, you know, um, just everything you know back in the day uh what was that song he sang uh da, 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 da. reasons no not reasons um i'll write a song oh okay thirst mm. but never quench i know the consequences mm-hmm. feeling as i do you know what i'm saying yeah. that melodic we in a spinning town, yeah. where well, tell me will it stop? And what am I to say? You know what I'm saying? It was just so yeah. beautiful to me. You know, mm-hmm. so many people that contribute to this thing that they pay no attention to. You know what I'm saying? The OJs, when they were singing their joint and and making thousands, where these rappers are making millions, and I'm not taking away from their their craft and what they're doing, you know. But uh, what was what's his name? Uh, what was it? Feeding back. Oh, my mic is feeding back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we're back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is everybody all right in the chat? I love to, you know, bring on that that where they're not ready for it, you know. 
He ain't made me to say your speakers will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, G. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it sounded like aliens came in the room. <laughs> it just kept going and going. It I, kept I, I had to go ahead and mute us at, so, at one too. point. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay, yeah. I was wondering. Because yeah, <laughs> it just... You think it's, 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 Go ahead, no, I'm just saying, because you guys have so many artists on your platform, they get it. They know what just happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That stuff, right? yeah, Colleen said that uh, Donnell can sing. That's Translation, right. sing. Yeah. <laughs> sing. <laughs> yeah, but this one, yeah, but this is what... Go ahead, go ahead, Joyce. I, I, I'm sorry, we all need to recover. Give us a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Donnell's so already trying it out on this side um, of the United States of America. I, I'm really, really anxious to see how the um, the stage play uh, family is going to embrace him. Um, you know, the circle, you know, because like I said, the balcony club, I really wanted to, um, we still haven't had a chance to go. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just really kind of anxious to see what kind of a buzz, you know, he can make here in, uh, you know, over here in, in, in Texas, over here in the Big D. So, uh, so I'm really uh, happy that you were able, and Gary and Joyce and uh, Mac, to invite you on here um you know i think we're gonna make a lot of a lot of changes a lot of moves you know coming up but this damn weather gotta cool off first it's under the seven killing system but uh wait. right a little cooler because we are old ish young you know? yeah. <laughs> the moves up in here i hear you i hear you well, yeah we definitely enjoyed uh having you having you on today donnell and uh Thank you. Man, I, I hope I hope you don't give it up, cause I I think you should I think you should come out with something, man. I could right. just I could just hear it. I mean, really. Um, yeah, we're joining some attacks. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the feet. Don't let this work out, man. And you know, you just don't give that up, because things can still happen. And you don't have to sign to no label. You know, it's all independent. You know, what, what I want, if I can say what I honestly want, mm -hmm. I want, like, two or three, you know how Luther had it said, I'm not trying to be Luther, I'm not trying to be that bro. But he had his, the, 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 um, Tina, Cherry, uh, Lisa Fisher, Kevin uh, uh, on the side. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With two of ladies at the bottom when you with most what people as you know when people when you're a singer when you hear other people's harmonies off to your side yeah. it makes you want to do more mm -hmm. than than what you know it, it just that's, and i understand understood his concept right when he heard his the people that had his back with the band and everything it mm -hmm. makes you want to do more mm -hmm. right you know what I'm saying if you up there by yourself and you singing, when I did the thing in Philly, it, it, the young ladies, we didn't practice, but there was two young ladies that were like, oh, oh just, they were awesome. I was sitting up there singing, um, what was it? Hey, don't you sing again. You ain't going to no, run no, up no, speakers. I've been so many places. Seen so many things, but none quite as lovely as you. You're more beautiful than a Mona Lisa. But you told me not to sing again, so let me stop that. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but this time you didn't leap back and open the floodgates of heaven on us. <laughs> 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 Ooh, sounds good though. But go ahead. Yes. Uh, but we were singing, and what I think um, I had did a Teddy set, and I forget what song it was that they, that we sang. But 
when they sang, I was like, oh, shoot. I, you see the, I was like, oh, because I wasn't ready for them. Mm. And I, I had to say something. I said, y'all almost had me catch the Holy Ghost out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I wasn't ready. And my sister was front and center. And she asked me to do... Um, when I away from you, boy. Yeah, yo, she can do that part. That ain't my part. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I got people, I got singers that can come in and we can tear the house down, you yeah. know? Yeah. Let me, ask you this. Let me ask you this, Darnell. Do you, um, all this time that you've been, you know, been, you know, singing here and there and doing different things, do, do you actually write? your uh some some stuff that you have you know written that you want to put put on music uh, well, w with me i am more of a collaborator mm -hmm. because i'm very crucial in what i do so if you've written a song mm -hmm. i can sing it mm -hmm. but what i will do is sing it change it and rewrite some stuff to bring it to what i need to i never took the time out to sit back and say hey I'm gonna just be a songwriter. I can possibly do it. Yeah. Something I can probably put on tape for me to remember. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm not a you know I'm just nah. I, I, I was I think I can too. But I think I was. But Whitney Houston, if you look at her, excuse me, she sang other people's songs. She mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. And she she could have possibly with with the talent that she had, she could have possibly done that. That, but I understand her. That, you know, just put write the song down. I'll sing it the way that I sing it, and you are going to pay me because I'm going yes, to sing yes, it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And well, there's nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. especially yeah. when Ray is falling asleep. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Did we catch? Did we catch him? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it must be Betty yeah. by time. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> We're coming up on 4 o'clock, so I guess we need to come so we can go to bed. <laughs> that, that, that knock alert seat on Saturday and I. <laughs> uh, how funny. Well, mm -hmm. that, I guess no, you got to in your eyes, Mac. I got you. You just resting your eyes, sugar. <laughs> yeah, I'm checking for cracks. <laughs> just, no, that's that's right, Mac. Just yeah. to let the people know out there, uh, not just for myself, me and Cassandra, Cassandra and I, excuse mm -hmm. me, you know, I didn't want to sound like I was, you know, ghetto. Cassandra and I, we both have the desire to go out here and do the best that we can for you. Um, it, on Real Talk, it's politics and bullcrap, most it of it. Yeah. But when I step into a karaoke place or she stepped into a karaoke place, um, they just sit back there and I apologize because I'd be like, man, I can't sing like I used to. They, they told me, they said, boy, don't you ever apologize again. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. I was louder and more, you know, I'd have broke a class back in the Ella Fitzgerald type stuff <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love the song. There's something in my spirit. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, awesome. I, I just hope that you and Cassandra pull it all together and put the EP together, whatever the case may be. If it's just one at a time, but just do the one for the first time. Right. Yeah, because even the, the advantage now of, of where we are, <clears throat> in, in, like you said, being independent, you know, uh, I think that even younger people, their taste is more eclectic. <laughs> So, you know, there will be a fan base that will and surely support, you know, what's going on. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm like a family three anxious to see some projects uh, stop, uh, start coming out and also to pull Craig out of his retirement. Also, my old producer, his friend, and who produced, uh, well, we're making a project together. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really anxious to see what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Well, and make it soon. Don't wait now. We ain't got too much too much time. You ain't got too much time. <laughs> 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 
I believe, I believe God has got a purpose for me. I need to find out what that whole purpose is before I can get away from here. Yeah, well, I, 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 I believe you when you say that. Trust me. We don't bump heads for nothing. Yeah. And the thing about it is what it is, because like I said, I get these people that hit me up and they're talking. We went to um, uh, Atlantic City. And uh, we went down there for the uh, celebrity boxing match between uh, whoever the hell and, 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 and such and though. But the thing about it is they told us one thing. We flew ourselves there, and we should have known better than that in the first place. But we flew ourselves there. We get there, do going to sit back. First of all, they, we're sitting in a hotel lobby for several hours waiting for them to give us our room. But these things happen. I understand that. Dude, when I finally get into a room, he's worried about more so how I got the room than he is him getting the room. Mm. Now, these are people that are stars and, you know, all that, you know, all the the, 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 the hoops and ladders. Mm. And I'm, and dude going to tell me, well, we're going to talk tomorrow about the, uh, the contract. I said, well, you explain one thing. So the next day he comes up short, didn't show up. Third day, he finally shows up, which was a Sunday. Mm. He, I, I, I got to tell you, Wendy Williams, we were supposed to do Wendy Williams show. But in lieu of the fact that Wendy Williams is going through what she's going through, I'm not going to put this out here, but we were supposed to do the Wendy Williams. Yeah. But in, 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 the, in, in the interim of all that, when he showed up on Sunday, he was supposed to show up at 10 o'clock. He didn't show up till about 1, 2 o'clock that afternoon. Mm. Then he's telling us, well, uh, we'll do a contract of this and that. I said, that's not what you said for us to fly out here. He's talking about, well, uh, I'm talking to Cassandra. I told him, I said, bro, don't take my my persona as a weakness. I'm not right. You know what I'm saying? I said, because I didn't come all the way to Atlantic City to go to jail. You <laughs> told me as though that I'm your 11-year-old grandson, Ninja. I am 50-some-odd years old. You didn't talk to me like that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I told Cassandra, I said, you can sit here and talk to this mother father if you want to, because I can change words. You hear me, right? I can tell you. You can talk to this mother father if you want to, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. Excuse me, I messed that word up. But <laughs> 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 I'm it off, Joey. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, sorry, people. I, I get the freak out of here. I'm sorry. But yeah, <laughs> what we do is we depend on man, and if man can't be dependable, then what do we have? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Not yeah. a daggone thing. So if I tell you that I'm going to come and sing five songs, I'm coming to sing five songs for you. I might even add in two more. But stop playing this game. Stop playing with people's time, right. their right. money, their heart, their, their, their experience. Stop playing. Y'all mm -hmm. right. ask me, from what I feel with you guys, like just like when Jill asked me to come out and sing out in, what, Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. I, what did I do? Came and did it. Did I, I, if, if I'm going to tell you I'm going to do something, when she told me she, she was tired as hell coming back, she said, "You wake me up and let me know when you're ready for me to drive. I said, I'm going to let this heifer sleep because she ain't going to kill my black ass. Right? <laughs> 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 Who was in Oklahoma, man? Huh? Who was y'all up there? No, actually, that was uh, one of my BFFs. Um, Birthday. It was her fiftieth her fiftieth birthday. So, you know, I, I had to I had to come with it and you know, my biggest weapon was Darnell. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so she had a personal, you know, a serenade for her birthday from Mr. Frost. So well, let, me, they, let me give you this. They, 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 they paid me no mind. They act like I wasn't even in the room. The whole time. I mean they, they acknowledged me, but they was they was like, Hey, how you doing? and went on about their business. After I sang happy birthday to this lady, 
I couldn't get them off me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Donnell? That's why you need some CDs. Because after you woo all these ladies, they will put $20 on the CD just like that. That's, that sounds good to me. There you go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sounds good. We, we, that's why. That's, that's why we all are talking because we about to work this. Up. <laughs> yeah, we. I mean, we have producers all connection with many. Uh, Gary's a producer. We know other producers. We just it's loaded. That might oh, yeah. Glory might be in the chat. He's one too. He does I, his own stuff. Uh, Jill knows David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard. Mm -hmm. I heard. I heard the the balcony is the thing, but. Well, uh, well, Liz Michael, who's now on Broadway right now, she started a Monday night, but she's on, she's in New York right now. So I haven't been since Liz is in New York, but right. Liz had it going. We some really amazing talent came through, and I I enjoy just meeting other musicians. You didn't even know they existed. You didn't even know they were in Dallas. Yeah. So, but I haven't I, honestly, I haven't been back. But some really fine musicians played uh, there through the week. Uh, but yeah, that what part. What was the piano player that uh, that had died? With, you know, what was it? Uh, mm. about a couple of months. Oh, ago. Bernard, right? Yeah, that was yeah. here. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yes. He's supposed to be in uh, Patti LaBelle's. Oh, there's so many stories. Somebody, yeah. my girlfriend called me, said, "Did you hear he was uh, Patti LaBelle's son?" I said, "Girl, I ain't never heard that." But somebody. <laughs> said he was a godson. A godson. Uh, yeah. Did you recall his name? Bernard Wright. Oh, no, 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 if, no. Yeah, he was he was a child prodigy. He was already playing with big names when he was a teenager. Mm. Bad boy. You know, Miles Davis. And, uh, he was he also had released a hit song back in what the eighties <laughs> back? Would it have been the eighties? About the eighties. Really? Yeah, somewhere around there. So, hmm. yeah. And in New York knew him very, very, very well. He was actually born in New York, but he had a residency here in Dallas as well. Hmm. Where, you know, I, I used to uh, see Phyllis Hyman on mm -hmm. uh, the, um, what was it, the uh, uh, oh, Sweetwater. It was a uh, thing out there, Sweetwater. Her and um, Rachel Farrell. Rachel Farrell is a, a um, you know, I'm talking about Phyllis. Phyllis is gone now, but I remember some uh, yeah. encounters I had with her. Um, Rachel Farrell is still here with us. They don't, mm -hmm. one thing I realized out here, they don't want singers that can actually sing. It has to be an aesthetic for these people. You have to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. This lady told me, she said, you know, quite a few people, they was like, man, it, it, it kills me how you sound like Luther Banjo, but you look like Idris Elba. And I was like, hey, I'll take, I'll take them both, but give me them pockets. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> so give me them pockets, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Well, it's about that time yeah. for us to break things down. So. Uh, okay. Just want to take the time to thank you, uh, Mr. Donnell Cross, for coming on the show. We really enjoyed talking with you, and like I said, uh, I have nothing but blessings for you, brother. Hope I hope you have some good things coming because you got a, such a great gift, man. And uh, and yeah. like I said, you're never too old. I'm 58. I'm 58. I'll be 59 coming up uh, this you know here in just a couple couple of months. So. Um, but I, I always kept that spirit, you know, I don't care how old, <laughs> right. we're going to do, gonna do this thing. So, <laughs> but anyway, man, but again, thank you for being on the show, man. Really enjoyed thank it. Really. Yeah. Enjoyed thank, it. You for giving, thank you for giving me a platform so they don't know who I am, you know, and instead of, because the good morning America was sweet and it was always graceful, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you just can't be yourself. They tell you what you need to say. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So thank you for giving me that 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 that, that great experience. Oh, absolutely, man. Right. So, Gary, um, like I said, after this, you know, um, uh, 
we'll reach out to Cassandra, which I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem for her to also uh, jump on here and talk to you guys. Yeah, that'd be great. So, mm-hmm. Y'all work on that on the back end. Oh, I can't wait. Cool, cool. Sounds sounds like a great plan. Because, you know, this platform here, now people now, they know who you are. Yeah. They really know who you are now. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for that. My, my bad. My bad. Y'all made my, my my year. The rest of my year, I'm be sitting up here on cloud nine. <laughs> uh, I'll see you Thursday, okay? I got you Thursday. Get, 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 get ready for that birthday thing. He's a, uh, whatchamacallit, he's a uh, fashionista. So watch out for what he's going to be wearing, I'm telling you. He don't play <laughs> Well, it's it's a casual event, so you don't you don't have to do a touch thing. <laughs> no, it's not a touch. It's just I like I like I'm, I'm an old gentleman from the way my grandmama raised me, so I like okay. I like to put on a tie. But just do you. Like and yes, has been like this, I always tell just dress. I mean, just be decent. You know what I mean? But we we don't want you to uh, come in like. You know, well, I'm not going to say that on the air, but uh, we, we're about to go off the air. Come on, Gary. Yeah. Take it off the air. <laughs> so I can see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. All right. Well, everybody have a great weekend. Again, uh, be safe. Uh, stay. Try to stay cool. I know it's going to be hot for a little while uh, before things cool down. But, uh, right there. but uh, anyway, just have a great weekend. And again, we thank uh, Mr. Donnell Cross. And... Uh, and of course, uh, thank you, Jill. <laughs> also, Jill, we appreciate you as well. And um, and with that said, I'll pass it over to uh, uh, Joyce and Ray. They can say whatever I'm they need to say. We'll get on out of here. We're already behind schedule ending, so go ahead, Mac. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. This hey, man. I'm telling you, it's been a ball having you on, man. There's thank no you. doubt, man. You know. And I just hope you had a good time with us, don't you? God, yes, yes. I, uh, y'all don't know. I feel like I'm family, you know, and that's how y'all make me feel. Oh, yeah. Man. You know, it's just, we try to make people make, you know, our, our audience, you know, yourself has make you feel comfortable. Okay, right. Man, you <laughs> and you should. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everybody else, stay cool out there because it's definitely warm. For sure. Hot. <laughs> and, uh, but look here. See you later. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, bye. Hey, we'll see you next week. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Back trying to read a thesis. Uh.